Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Brownfields are abandoned or underutilized properties with possible environmental contamination. The West Virginia Voluntary Remediation Program helps communities and developers return these problem properties to productive use while preserving undeveloped pristine lands. That's the plan in one community that's looking to rid itself of a local eyesore. The DEP's Mike Huff has more. Smithers is a community in transition. Located along US 60 just inside the Fayette County line, the town has been hit hard by a changing local economy. But city leaders have a plan. Smithers is rebranding itself. We once were a coal town and now coal has taken a downturn. Uh, we once had many residents who worked at West Virginia Tech. West Virginia Tech is gone and now Valley High School has closed. So the leadership of the city of Smithers is rebranding, remaking the town and working on its new economy. And that economy is based on tourism. Tourism and the three most important things in real estate, location, location, location. We call ourselves the gateway because just 25 miles to the west is the capital city of Charleston, and just 25 miles to the southeast is the beautiful New River Gorge. So we are working to clean up our town, to make it safe. We have a uh, tagline that says, clean, safe, and attractive. And I think you'll see this is a beautiful part of West Virginia. But what's not so beautiful is the old Oakland school property. Built around the turn of the last century, the school closed in 1977, and after a series of different owners, it ended up the property of the city of Smithers, used for a time as a recreation center and for storage. Time hasn't been kind to this building, and the roof failed, and once a roof fails and the windows failed, nature took over. So now it is of no use to the city of Smithers, except it sits on beautiful waterfront property on the Great Canal River. The future for that property is a little clearer now. The DEP's Office of Environmental Remediation awarded the city of Smithers a Brownfields Program Technical Assistance Mini Grant. They can cover a wide range of activities, um, no assessment or cleanup, but more like feasibility studies. We can do um, public visioning sessions. Um, we can do um, an inventory of brownfield sites within a, the smaller disadvantaged community. Um, so just really, you know, kind of generating a list or interest in a property that, um, uh, like this site where uh, it's a brownfield property and we could redevelop it and put it to good use. The school was set to be demolished sometime in 2020 by the West Virginia National Guard, following an environmental evaluation to look for hazards at the site like asbestos that will have to be dealt with. Once that's done, plans for the site can move forward. It's right in the heart of town and it's just a great location. Um, there is no public uh, access to the river uh, for the, the town of Smithers, um, actually for quite some area. Uh, according to the mayor. So um, this could really be um, a community green space. It could be a recreational area. Um, it could uh, have kayak launches or um, um, just, you know, a playground, just a whole variety of amenities here that the community, community needs. This will represent uh, the very first opportunity we have to provide public access to the river. As far as we know, this is the only public access from here to Charleston in one direction and from here to Golly Bridge in another direction. Uh, by giving the public access to the river, that's an attraction. That gives people a reason driving along the Midland Trail to stop, whether it's a quick picnic and a bite to eat on their way or whether they bring their canoes or their kind of kayaks, or hopefully, maybe they'll rent them here. Little concession stand, public restrooms. This opens up really the first opportunity to show the public what we can do here on the river in attracting them and making it a great place for our residents to get to the river also. 
Rehabilitating brownfield properties makes good economic and environmental sense. They're often in prime locations with public utilities already available, as well as access to existing transportation networks like roads, rail, and rivers. Brownfields are often um, dilapidated, abandoned. Um, they can be schools, they can be gas stations, they can be large uh, former manufacturing facilities that have gone out of business. Um, they could be still ongoing businesses. Um, but a lot of times the brownfield sites are just abandoned or vacant. So they can just attract trespassers and um, you know then create a lot of vandalism and, and whatnot. So um, we like to put these brownfield sites back into productive use and um, get them redeveloped. DEP has provided us with the funds to uh, rethink, reimagine what properties can be. And that has been extremely helpful to us. It's one thing to have a dream, it's another to be able to put together the parts of that dream and to make it workable. And West Virginia DEP and their professionals have done just that for us and have offered us that opportunity. It's very important to get this out. This property represents uh, a decay. It, it's like a decayed front tooth. Uh, when you smile, all people see is that decayed tooth. If, however, we can remove this building, we can reuse this property, then the smile comes back and it's a good greeting to everyone. In Smithers, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. The city plans to host a series of community gatherings in the coming months to get suggestions from residents about plans for the site. For more information about the DEP's Brownfields program, visit our website, dep.wv.gov, and be sure to follow the DEP on all of our social media platforms. Besides the Environment Matters YouTube channel, we're on Facebook and Twitter at DEPWV. Like, follow, and subscribe, and never miss a story. For Environment Matters, I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.